Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the Spoiler Joy May Team. Today we are going to be looking at the Cricut Joy app once again for the iOS. Um, so last time we spent a look at the insert cards and made a card really quickly. So let's go ahead and make some quick labels. Um, I have a great use for this. My wife got a new water bottle and I mean, as you can tell with the, the first little image here, it's like, let's, uh, let's apply it to a water bottle. So uh, let, let, let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, what do we need? We need some vinyl and a weeder and transfer tape. We got it all. Let's start making. All right. Oh, we kind of get to choose a label style. Interesting. I kind of want letter only. Are these like the only fonts that I get? Because if so, I'm not sure how to make it. <laughs> Let's try. All right. Um, Okay, then I get to choose. Relatively cute. Huh. Well, look at that. I can change the font. Perfect. Uh, this is the one that was selected. I don't like how it says sample instead of the words that I put. <gasps> This is my favorite font. I like Blippo stencil. Oh, these are all stencils. Um, <laughs> that one's aggressive. This. Oh, we can change the color. All right. Um, okay. It's three inch, dark, a quarter inch. That's pretty small. Can I change how big it is? Oh, I can. Um, let's think about it. The water bottle is like about this thick, and I guess I want the words to be like an inch and a half tall. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's what you size it. And it looks the same, but it's not the same. Um, okay, select the material. I have some like premium holographic vinyl that I think is a little bit cool with it. Um, yeah, it's not a whole lot. Maybe I should No. Should I I don't know what to put on this water bottle now. Oh, I've I figured it out. 
<laughs> there was one time my wife and I were playing this couples game, and she and one of the questions that we had to answer for one another was, "What your favorite possession is?" And so I couldn't think of what my wife's favorite possession was, so I guessed it was her water bottle. I was wrong. Um, it was in fact her wedding ring, so my bad. Um, but it'd be funny for me to have this text say um, my favorite possession. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it in two lines. Yeah. Then I'm gonna make it one and two so I can't read it. Go up the side. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Why would it cut like this? And I can't change it. Oh, it's a terrible preview. Why? I don't think I can change it. Um, I hate it. What if I like change the size to just be like slightly bigger? Will that fix the way that it laid out on the? Oh. <laughs> It did. Oh gosh, that's a lot better. <laughs> um, all right, perfect. So we're gonna need a piece of material six inches long and two and a half inches wide. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and make it. I'm gonna take my trusty cutting tool and we'll prep the material. Also, of course, we're going to grab the mat. Um, here's the mat we're going to use. And yeah, there's some holographic vinyl. I think these are like 12 inches wide. So I'm going to cut this to be two and a half. And a third and a half. There's two and one half inches. And then cut that at six inches. Yeah, we got two pieces of material that are both like two by six. And we're gonna go ahead and place that on the mat. Um, looks like we're already connected to the joy, which is nice. I'm glad I remembered its own connection to the thing. All right. Dude, I didn't put it on straight right there. You can see it's like coming off. It's probably not going to be an issue, but I'm concerned about it, so I'm going to put it on straighter. All right. There we go. We put the premium vinyl on the thing, and we're going to go ahead and load it onto the machine. And we've already got the blade in there. So that's one less thing to worry about. Um, get the blades in there. Let's go. <laughs> uh, this one 
probably cut rather quickly since it's just a bunch of words. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna go and steal my wife's water bottle without her knowing. So I'll be back. I got the water bottle. Um, she she caught me trying to steal it, but she just thought that I was thirsty. Little does she know, I also have my water bottle here, so it's not really an issue. Um, good, we're at seventy, eighty-two percent done. That's exciting. Yeah, so here's her water bottle, um, and we're just gonna. Put some vinyl right there saying my favorite possession. It'll be cute. It's done. Let's check it out. All right. We're trying to remove the excess material from the backing. Well, first off, just like take it off of the mat. Uh, make sure that all the cuts worked. We got pretty close on the bottom, you can see that with mine, but everything cut onto the vinyl, which is great. Very happy about it. Um, I always like to just bend it, wait. Like this, I just like flex it until something pops up. And then I take that tab, oh gosh, and, um, Use it to pull everything out. Uh, we're probably gonna have to use some transfer tape on this because it's so many different pieces. If it was just like a single image, we could probably just plunk it on, but yeah, with text, definitely transfer tape's gonna be the thing. All right, then you can see the like O's and E's are filled in and the A. So you could take like the little pick to get it out, but I'm just gonna. See if I can get it without the pick. Yeah. If you bend it hard enough, um, those inner shapes will pop out. And you can just pull them. All right, there we go. Um, obviously, this isn't the way we want it to be done. Rather, I don't want it, you know, to look like this. That's awkward. So I'm gonna take a piece of transfer tape that's like the width of this, um, pull one out, center it, pop it on, and then put the other one on. So let's grab some transfer tape. We made this uh, inch and a bit. So let's uh, do it. Here's our transfer tape. Um, I guess I've got my cutting tool I can use. About an inch and a bit. All right. Okay. We'll take the transfer tape. Peel it off if it's possible. Yeah, design's complex with several pieces. Cut out a piece of transfer tape, slightly larger than the cutout. Um. I'm going to place this over the, 
over the My Favorite text. And make sure not to touch any of the next label with it. And then my favorite part of branching, you always see right here. I'm just like using my fingernail to rub it as hard as I can. Um, and like the palm of my finger. You want to get the, uh, well, you usually want to get like the edges of an image, but since this image is less wide than my finger, you pretty much just press it all in. So the idea here is to get the transfer tape to stick to the shiny side of this material more than the material sticks to the backing paper. Rub that in a little longer. Uh, something you can't undo, um, which so there's like two ways that you can take this off. You can just like peel the tape off and hope that it sticks, or you can flip it upside down and then peel the backing off um, and also hope that the tape sticks. <laughs> Uh, both methods are pretty valid. I found that this um, sometimes works better. Ooh. Sometimes I like the E here is stuck. Oh, yeah. Alright, okay. then we've got that on the transfer tape, we'll take the water bottle and just try to get it centered. Oh yeah, that worked great. Yeah, let's... And then we do the same thing um, on the water bottle. So we've like we've applied this sticker, and we just want to like rub it, uh, just so the vinyl sticks better than the transfer tape sticks to the vinyl. Um, and this one we don't have the uh, nicety of being able to pull the water bottle off. So, you gotta make sure that sticks and then just pull the tape off carefully. You don't wanna pull off any edges. If you start pulling off an edge, then just like replace it back and rub a little more. Alright, that's looking good. What about the dot on the I and the cross on the T? <sighs> What? It's stuck. Come on, T. Let's go. All right, and boom. All right, there we go. We got my favorite, and let's hit up the possession here. Just the same exact thing. Putting it on, rubbing each letter. Um, you can use your finger here, you can use a credit card. Um, there have been times where I've been trying to use a credit card or something like that and it has like pushed the vinyl underneath the tape and ruined it. So just be careful. I have used my finger enough that sometimes I'll like get ink from the tape on my finger. Yeah, so between your fingernail the pad of your finger, you just put enough pressure to get that to really stick. I'm gonna do that flipping over technique. It did not work. We're going hard. Shaking the whole table for this. All right, let's try, try it again. 
All right, yeah, that time it's stuck. Uh, see, when you brandish it well, it, it comes off really smoothly. My S's of the possession aren't good. There's so many S's. All right. There we go, there we go. Oh. No. Closeness. Ah. <sighs> Just the final P. There we go. We got the sticker. We're gonna try to center it. Make sure to take extra care on the eye because it's such a tiny thing. All right, then you can take the transfer tape, put it back on the liner. I, I think you can usually get about like three or four uses out of each bit of transfer tape. There we go. There's the water bottle. My favorite possession. <laughs> it's like hard with all that glare, but you get the idea. All right. Uh, thanks so much for joining everybody. That was us. Uh, checking out the Cricut Joy app um, for the iOS. Oh yeah. So we did we took the transfer tape, we put it on the thing, we branched it, and bam, we got a nice water bottle. And I think that's uh, about it. Sweet. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining guys. If uh, you like my videos and you like my content, feel free to subscribe and you know if you got two minutes, I'm going to go show my wife this and then come back with her response. It went smashing. She absolutely loved it. Uh, have a great night, guys.